Hi, I'm Nick Riley, and in this video, we're going to have a look at how we would place a market order on a stock. So, on the screen, you can see that I have my order box. Um, this is the SPY, the ETF for the S&P 500, and you can see that uh, it's moving around quite nicely, quite liquid, um, plenty on the bid, plenty on the offer, and the spread's also quite nice and tight: 135.94, 135.95. Let's assume that uh, we want to actually uh, go long the SPY. We're not particularly interested in setting a limit, we just simply want to get up. We think the stock's going to rally. The first thing we do is make sure we have our account in place. You'll see also that we need to check that we have exactly the right, uh, right security. And number, we're going to choose, let's choose a thousand. All you would do is type in manually. You'll see here that we have a, a drop down list. These are ECNs, these are uh, order routing uh, systems, if you like, and they will take your order to the stock exchange where it will be executed. Because we only want to do a marker trade, we want ARCA M. ARCA is the ECN, and M simply stands for market. So we don't want to press any other boxes at the moment. We know we'd like to uh, we know we'd like to buy a thousand uh, spy, and we know we simply want to execute this at market. So we can see it's uh, 135.91, 135.92. All I'm going to do is click on the buy button, and as I do that, if you watch the blue strip, it will give you a message as to the status of the activity. The other thing I want to do is have a look at these two boxes here, Account Manager and Trade Manager. So, as I enter my order in, into the system, it will momentarily be held as an order and instantaneously it will be, once it's traded, it will transfer from a ticket. So, if we have a look at the Trade Manager, we're going to go through these tabs in a moment and also we will then look at the Account Manager itself. So here we go, we're going to buy 1000. So you can see it's been executed, execute a buy of 1000 spies at 135.92. It's gone through ARCA, which is the route that we used, and we have paid the market price. If we now move over to the trade manager, perhaps it was a little bit quick because electronic trading is extremely fast. So we had an order which was instantaneously. If we click on tickets, we'll see that we are long 1,000 SPY contracts. The price of execution is 135.92. We can confirm this as a trade. Um, the other thing that's relevant in the trade manager box is the log. This will tell you every single keystroke that you've made. So if I click on the log, you can see here I'm sending the order, the system has accepted the order, and the system has executed the order. So quite nice, uh, quite logical uh, formation. And if I click back to the order, I'm not running any other orders at the moment. I've simply done one trade. So as we now move up to the account manager, you can see that uh, this is my position right now. So I bought 1,000 uh, contract, uh, 1,000 spies. The average cost was 135.92. I have realized and unrealized this is the amount of profit so here you have realized if I sell the spy having bought it this is how much money I would make or lose on unrealized this is the amount of money that I am making or losing as long as I hold this position the other thing is if I click onto account you can see here that this gives me the details of the account overall. So here I have one trade. Here in the account box, I will actually have all the profit and loss or the PL for all of the trades. So I'm going to go back to position. It's not looking great for me right now. I'm down $40. So I want to execute uh, a sell order. If I want to execute a sell order, I know I have 1,000 shares in my account, so if I go back to the trade order box, I need to make sure I have the same instrument in here, the SPY. I'll put in one because I want 1,000 because I want to now sell 1,000. 
I also want to do this at market because it's starting to look a little bit weaker price is bouncing around at the moment so on that basis here we can see it's starting to uh, tighten up a little bit so I am going to click on the sell button again focus on the blue strip here if I click on sell I've executed a sale of my thousand spies at 13590.90 you'll notice as I go over to the account manager my positions disappeared that's because I've sold out of the position that I entered to into to get rid of it so on my account what will actually happen is I will lock in either a profit or a loss on the account so if I click account you will see now that I realize a twenty dollar loss on this you'll also see that um, I have no unrealized profit or loss because I don't have an outstanding position and my buying power is back to where it was before just going to the tickets box on the trade manager you will see now that I bought a thousand spy and I sold a thousand spy so these are my trade tickets for a trade executed at market price